Hi, I'm Larry Charles. Anyone who knows me and gives a shit, which is a small group of people, if anybody at this point, knows I don't like to repeat myself. So when I left Seinfeld, everybody, agents and networks, and probably the audience too to some degree, wanted me to do another Seinfeld, and that was the absolutely last thing I would ever do. The idea of cashing in on something, really somebody else's success, was anathema to me. If anything, I would try to go as far in the other direction as possible. So when they mentioned doing a pilot for Wayne Knight, Newman, I had immediate ideas of what I wanted to do. One of the things I loved about Wayne was his sort of grounded cartoonishness. He was real and honest, but also in many, many ways bigger than life. And I love that about him, like Michael Richards as Kramer. And I always had fun writing for the both of them. My first idea, which they didn't like at all, was Wayne playing a vegetarian butcher. That's right. It was a family business, but he himself never eats meat. I think it was called Off the Hook, but it never got Off the Hook. So I had this almost live cartoon idea of Wayne playing a guy who works in a biochemical agriculture company like Monsanto or Archer Daniels Midland or Dow Chemical or DuPont, where weird shit would go on. I thought about him having a, a strange brother-in-law, maybe, played by Peter Crombie, who played Joe Devola on Seinfeld, who ran a convenience store in the shadow of the plant. And maybe he was afflicted in some way by what was going on there. And I wanted to keep it very pure and surreal, like a cartoon. But NBC wanted a grounded family comedy, and that became the battle, resulting in a synthesis of my idea and this more grounded, albeit eccentric, family comedy. And feeling the pressure at that time of being paid and having responsibility, I tried to make it work, but of course it wound up being a somewhat uneasy mixture of the two. But you could see what I was going for. Siobhan Fallon, who had been on Saturday Night Live and played Elaine's roommate on Seinfeld, played Wayne's wife, and she was great. Jerry Seinfeld himself did the warm-up for the live audience taping, which I was always grateful for. However, it didn't lead to a pickup for the show. So here it is, completely unseen up until now, in all its glory, Wayne Knight in Middleman. Guy, he's coming tomorrow. Good. Yeah. We need him. Right, 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 right. Who's in there today? My mother, my father. Your sister? Yeah. <laughs> Wish me luck. Good morning. <laughs> You said good morning? Yeah. Oh. Morning's a bad time for her. Yeah, it was morning when she and Dirk separated. I, I keep forgetting that. Good morning. What were you thinking of? <laughs> it's no big deal. Next time, try high. <laughs> I'm gonna go to check on her. Have some breakfast. Hi. Juice. Gotta have my morning juice. That's golden sunshine in a cart. Yes, sunshine. I can't start my day without my coffee. I drink three or four cups. Has no effect on me at all. Me neither. <laughs> you can't beat a cornflake. I love a flake. Never been a puff man. Yeah, I know what you mean. Cereal, that's for kids. Oh, well. Give me eggs. Yeah, sure. <laughs> And not the soft boiled type. Uh uh, that's for sissies. I say fry them. Toughen them up. I don't like to see all that yellow yolk running and dripping all over my plate. <laughs> Sopping it up with a piece of toast. Oh, pathetic. Something wrong? No, no, no. I'm, just, I'm, I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. I'm gonna have my vitamins. Oh, good idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I called the guy. He's coming Tuesday. Use the bottled water. Well, I'm not going to drink that. I suspect it. 
ain't nobody worrying about that. The guy's coming Thursday. What the hell was that? What? <laughs> that. Oh, that. It's nothing. <laughs> nothing? Ray, <laughs> come on. Don't lie to me. I can take it. All right. It's some kind of creature. A creature? A creature? Oh, it'll kill us. It'll kill us. It'll devour us. It'll rip the flesh from our bones and feast on our carcasses. Boy, it's a little tiny thing. It's probably more frightened than you are. I doubt it. Don't worry. I called the guy. The guy? You called the guy? They have a guy for this? Yes. The animal control guy, he says there's nothing to worry about, no. but he can't make it until tonight. Mm. Apparently, the circus train derailed, all the wild animals got loose. Mm. Zebras, elephants, lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, oh my. my. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he'll call back later. So, uh, where's the paper? Oh, here you go. Great article on the fall fashions. Hey, it's time for Stasky and Hutch. Stasky gets shot by druggies. How does he get Ray, Ray, Ray. Just exactly how long are your parents staying? Why? Oh, hey, no reason. I just, you know, I wanted to make sure I'm able to, to uh, drive you to the airport. Oh, well, Roy, that is very nice of you. But actually, our tickets are open-ended. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, it's plenty of flexibility. Uh, like, uh, uh, the hypothetically, you could leave tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Or next winter. <laughs> They're never gonna leave. They're never gonna leave. Well, Roy, you're the one that said they should stay as long as they want. It's an expression. It's a figure of speech. <laughs> no, it was not. You meant it. And your intentions were good. You just did it for me. <sighs> yes, Ray, I, I had a dream, a vision of us starting our lives together in the desert, starting a family. Little did I know I wouldn't be able to stop this one. <laughs> All I wanted was for you to be happy, for us to be happy. I mean, is that so much to ask? I mean, look, look at them. <laughs> Laughing and smiling, hugging and kissing, enjoying themselves. It's disgusting. <laughs> I shouldn't have to watch that every day. Hey! Roy! Cut it out! Roy! Stop looking so happy! You're ruining the neighborhood! Roy, they'll hear you! This is Earth, not planet happy! Roy, stop! You're looking! Hi. Hi. What are we gonna do? What, what are we gonna do? I don't know. Well, you gotta do something. You gotta do something. We have to have some time alone. I'm going crazy. I can't take it. Help me. Okay, Help okay. me, Ray. All right. I'll figure something out. I'll get my parents out of this house one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Let me check my book. Oh, forget the book. Is there any aspirin left? Where do you keep the tape? Did I leave my glasses in here? Oh, could you pick up some milk on the way home from work? Okay. I'm off to work. We'll miss you. You will? Mm -hmm. Won't we? Oh, yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, big yeah. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Someday, Morley, if I play my cards right, I'll be the Assistant Supervising Systems General Manager for Southwest Regional Research Development and Operations. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> And this airless little box will be mine. <laughs> hey, parked a little close to the line today, didn't you, buddy? How would you know? I was watching down the security monitor. <laughs> what do you care anyway? You don't park next to me. Close enough. Hmm. In fact, there are those that say that although my spot is further away than yours, because of the angle, mine is actually a better spot. Was there something that you wanted? Nah. Just coming in and say, good morning, boss. I would have done it before, but you weren't in yet. Well, not that anyone noticed. Uh-oh, the big boss, I'll get it. Bill in here. And Papart, Papart here too. Slaving away. Papart, I'm Papart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir, he's right here. <laughs> Morley? <laughs> yes, sir. It's a little private, would you mind? <laughs> yeah, well, hey, what the no problem. Have you ever checked Morley's file? No. There's nothing in it. <laughs> hey, hey, you ever check my file? All the time. What's in it? Plenty. <laughs> I'll look into it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That guy's no janitor. <laughs> right. Listen, uh, not to change the subject or anything, but um, I was just wondering, how's your sister-in-law doing? Cindy, still separated? Yeah, from reality. <laughs> Why? I was just thinking about, you know, maybe asking her out. Really? <laughs> Oops, leaking lab 14. It's a deadly crop fungus. That baby's lethal. <laughs> Well, you do know your evacuation route, don't you? Evacuation route? Yeah. Uh, tell Cindy I'll call her around five-ish if I'm not contaminated. What's my evacuation route? What is my... dead. Roy, <laughs> right. stop! You missed a great Beretta. He lost the bird. Oh, hi, Cindy. Oh, oh, Cindy, did the animal control guy ever show up? Nope. Hey, Roy, I got a big date with your supervisor. My supervisor? Yeah, Papard. He's not my supervisor, he works for me. Oh, well, apparently he got some big bonus and he's gonna blow it all on me. Bonus? Roy, would you get that? It's probably the animal control guy. Where's the phone? Can somebody get that? Boy, answer the phone! Where is it? Can someone who lives in this house please answer the phone? Boy, what? Answer the phone! I'm trying to answer the phone! <laughs> Why doesn't the machine answer it? It's broken. I called the guy. He's coming by. <laughs> if you're sitting here, the next time the phone rings, would you please answer it? Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there you are. These are for you. They're perfect for our evening alone. Alone? We're in? We're in, they're out. Oh, man. <laughs> That's okay, your mother's gonna get it. Why doesn't she pick it up? She's sitting right there. I mean, why doesn't she? Answer the phone! Answer the phone! Answer the phone! What do I do? What do I do? Push the button! Push the button! You push the button! Hello? They hung up. Already? <laughs> I'm sure it was just the animal control guy. He was lost. I tried to give him directions, but I still don't understand where we live. <laughs> it's almost time for Kojak. He loves you, baby. What are you looking for, Dad? Nothing. 
Hey, did you bring home the milk? Oh, uh, I forgot. Uh, are you sure we don't still have some? I don't see it. Well, maybe in the back. I think Anne drank it all. Let me see. Yeah, I know we got some in here. I saw some just here. milk anyway. I mean, you know what I mean? Who thought of this idea? Let's drink the excretions of a farm animal. <laughs> Look, there's something leaking from that hell. <laughs> Let's drink it. Roy. Can't I wait till morning? No. Why? What are we, baby goats? Roy, I went to great trouble to arrange this very special evening for us, and I need milk. Look. I have just gotten home from work. I am not going back out there to get milk. Is that understood? I mean, what, what kind of special need do we have for milk? What kind of special arrangement requires milk? What, are we having the dairy council over? What, uh, we, we got some surprise birthday party for a three-year-old child? Roy. Ray. Roy. Ray. Roy. Ray. Roy! Okay, where's my jacket? <laughs> now look, my sister's going out. My parents are going out. And I'm going to cook you your favorite dinner. And we're going to spend a very romantic evening together alone. All you have to do is... Get milk? Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, I have a great idea. Go to Dirk's store. He could really use the business. Dirk's store? <laughs> Dirk's Red Eye Market? What, are you kidding me? No wonder he could use the business. Look at the location. Who builds a convenience store next to a toxic waste dump? <laughs> the guy is weird. You know, he scares me. I sometimes think he's got bodies in the freezer. <laughs> All right, it was just an idea. Hurry back. Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> to the phone! I'm to the phone! Ouch. I forgot my keys! I'm to the phone! Open the door! Answer. Oh, <laughs> yeah, just run to the store, get the milk, and run home. Two seconds. <laughs> all right, all right, stay calm. Don't lose it. It's just a flat tire. It could happen to anybody. No big deal. <laughs> drive to the mini mart, I drive to the convenience mart. Liquor store, gas station, supermarkets, everything's closed. Now what? I'm not going to Dirk's Red Eye Market, that's for sure. There must be something else. There must be! It's great. Oh, how about you, Roy? Oh, fine. Yeah. Fine, just fine. Yeah. So, <sighs> how's business? Oh, it's good. good. It's good. <laughs> how's, uh, Cindy? <laughs> She's fine. She's just fine. Good. Yeah. Look, I'm just here to get some milk. I, I gotta get some milk. I got a big night ahead of me, me and Ray. Milk? Yeah, milk. 
store policy, I don't carry milk. You don't carry milk? No, I stopped carrying it. I just couldn't look at another expiration date. Well, all right then. I, I got it. I gotta get some milk because, you know, I got a big night here. Ray and I, we have our first night alone and I don't know how long. And you know how that is, you know? I know how it is, Roy. Yeah, I was happy once. <laughs> then I bought this store. Sunk every last dime I had into it. Dirk. Dirk. What a fool I was. Uh, Dirk. Yes, can I help you? Look, look, I, I gotta go. Uh, uh, do you know the quickest way back to 41? Because I'm lost. Oh, yeah, I, I know how you feel. It's pretty horrible to have no idea where you are, where you're going, what direction to take. That's why, boy, wherever you are, the friendly red-eye sign, a hot cup of red-eye coffee, a smiling face. <laughs> a surveillance camera to record the whole transaction. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Boy, that wind's really starting to howl. It's scary here, and I, I'm all by myself. <laughs> Sorry, Roy, I haven't, uh, haven't talked to a live human being in days. Live? <laughs> Is it hot in here? <laughs> Have you seen my new freezer? No, I gotta go, I gotta go. No, no, wait, wait! Take mine. Thanks. Godspeed. Listen, people, we've sort of been driving in circles for the last two hours. Is there some place you wanted to go? No. no. Got milk? <laughs> so, uh, what happened to the animal control guy? Oh, he called last night while you were out. He couldn't make it. Apparently, he was run off the road by some psychotic. Oh. Roy? Yeah? Didn't you hear the creature? Yeah, I heard him. <laughs> Poor little thing. Ah, you were right. I overreacted. I mean, really. He's much more afraid of me than I am of him. Wow, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> ah! 